All right, everyone, we start off today talking about Lori Lightfoot and how it's revealed a huge double standard, enormous hypocrisy. I think the link in the description ruminates mostly on the Democratic Party, the fact that virtually no Democrats are calling out Lori Lightfoot for her racism, which, which she is. I mean, she's, I think, married to a white woman, but she won't give interviews to white people. That's probably because she's doing such a shitty job as Chicago mayor that she, she figures that people that look more like her, I guess, are less likely to criticize her. I don't know, it's kind of messed up. I hate to use the trope of Dems are the real racists, but, I mean, what the fuck else am I supposed to say about the fucking situation at some point? Uh, keep in mind, though, first and foremost, there will be a pinned comment down below if you're watching this video on YouTube. I make four videos a day, today probably a fifth, uh, but only two of them make it on YouTube because YouTube algorithmically abuses me and every other independent creator. Check their social blades sometime and see the switch that happened, oh, a mm, couple days after the U.S. election. It's magical how that occurred, almost like they were pressured by third parties. Eh, no, I guess it's just the material getting stale. Just ignore the fact that it's growing everywhere else. By the way, the same for all other political creators. Anyway, Lori Lightfoot came out the other day and uh, told people she was no longer going to give interviews to anyone unless they were black or brown. Now, I love the, the BIPOC thing also expresses the Democrats' moronism when it comes to race. They think that somebody who's, who's of, like, fucking South Asian lineage, somebody from Cambodia or Pakistan or some shit, they have everything in common with someone from Africa like from Rwanda or something. I'm thinking, how can you become more bigoted than saying, because of the fact that you are simply not part of the white people club, you're not of European diaspora, at least directly, that you, you've got some magical moniker that we're going to give you that means that you're like everyone else who happens not to be part of that group. It's absolutely bigoted. Is it okay? So it's it's sort of like the AAPI thing that they do, Asian and Pacific Islander. What are you talking about? There's no similarity. You're, you're saying that you believe that someone from Japan is the same as someone from Tuvalu? That, that is not the way that the world works. Uh, it, it, they have these weird fucking crazy views with regards to human culture, and you know, it's for opportunistic reasons. The funny thing is the Democrats are constantly browbeating people about the need to take care of this racism problem that by and large doesn't exist. Yeah, there's, there's some anti-Asian attacks. Well, check out the demographic that's most likely responsible for that attack, and all of a sudden it disappears off the news. Same thing with Chicago's crime. Why, do, why would she want to talk to a white reporter? Supposedly white people are dangerous and evil and want to shoot her and stuff. Oh, yeah, that's right, Chicago crime statistics tell a different story. Certainly not due to too many guns, now, most of them being illegal anyway, because these are felons shooting each other. These are gang dri gangland drive-bys and shit. Uh, you've got all these weird mythologies that the Democrats have twisted people's minds around with, again, to the point where someone who's a first-generation immigrant from Ghana is reckoned to be the same as someone whose great-grandparents came from South Korea. Well, they're not the same. Believe it or not, there are, there's more than one continent other than Europe. I know Lori Lightfoot is too idiotic to realize this. Uh, by the way, Where's the legacy media condemnation of the situation? Can you imagine, in a million years, if a politician who happened to be white said something roughly comparable to this? I'm only going to give interviews to white and East Asian people, you know, just to defer for reasons that are not even elaborated on. I'm only going to talk to white people. Oh, they'd get called racist. By the way, the next day the party would hold a vote to condemn them. The party would probably kick them out of the party. It wouldn't matter if it was a Democrat or a Republican at that point. It's not just democratic hypocrisy, yes, that's certainly a thing. It's also just leftist hypocrisy, but it's also hypocrisy by the entire system. We've got a diseased legacy media and a diseased political system that's so fixated on power and wealth and amassing 51% of the votes and as much money as possible that they engage in open and brazen bigotry and then browbeat people who point that out while also calling other people bigoted even when they do things that clearly aren't bigoted. So Marjorie Taylor Greene is reckoned to be the next Erwin Rommel, only with a, vag a functioning vagina, whereas Lori Lightfoot is held up as a progressive leader and probably good on COVID and all this bullshit. It's sort of like watching Cuomo. Look at the hypocrisy there from the legacy media that doesn't even talk about it. He gets Me Too'd by literally a dozen people. He's responsible for 15,000 elderly people dying by ignoring the CDC's initial COVID guidelines. 
He wrote, writes a book, it's a New York Times bestseller, he's making millions of dollars and getting kudos as though he's America's mayor, where people who supposedly were the ones that were actually going to kill grandma and don't have any apparent personal scandals are called evildoers. It's, al it's almost like Malcolm King's quote there, but what was it, be careful or they'll have you applauding the people that are trying to destroy you or something to that effect. Uh, it seems to be a thing, certainly with liberals at this point. Certainly, Lori Lightfoot's not doing you any optics favors. By the way, I'm starting to see people, including liberals, get very goddamn tired of seeing this sort of farce happen. I'm seeing more and more people being woken up because it's so brazen. Right now, you have thousands of U.S. troops outside the U.S. Capitol. You have months and months of riots that turn deadly and cause billions in damage. Those are called mostly peaceful by the same groups that are calling one two-hour event at the U.S. Capitol an insurrection. Uh, you've got soaring gun crime, and people are starting to recognize, hey, maybe I should have one because it doesn't seem the government's capable of doing much about it. And there are people that are looking at the situation where the people who are crying racist, racist the loudest are themselves saying openly, brazenly, transparently bigoted things. This is transparent bigotry from Lori Lightfoot. It's nothing else. It is racism. But it won't get called, the CNN's not going to call her out. We're, we're waiting, like this article, link in the description archived, of course, is like, oh, we're waiting for the Democrats to condemn and just hearing crickets. You're going to keep hearing crickets. One part is that the other side, which is artificially concocted, admittedly, it's not, not a real thing, but it's a human system. The other side doesn't pressure people so much on the racial issue. Partially because you can't take the moral high ground if you are excusing genuinely bigoted comments by other people in politics or in the, in the media or whatever. But none of it's as brazen as this. This is like post-David Duke sort of rhetoric. This is something you would expect. This is something where if, if you switched around the race involved, you'd expect this to be attributed as a Trump quote. And liberals, by the way, would believe it to be a real quote. You, you could make it go viral probably. They'd never do any fact-checking. They think that I'm a cross-dresser, just to keep this in mind. Lori Lightfoot, with her comments here, is showing an animus towards a race of people. What else am I supposed to call it? Reparations? I guess that's, that's the new thing. It's okay, because it's aimed at a certain group that's uh, perceived of as being a majority. They're trying to conglomerate, again, they're trying to conglomerate the native of Palau with, with the person living in Libya. And it's like, what are you even talking about? This total, that's like saying, okay, you're Italian. So basically that's the same thing as a Norwegian, right? Oh, hi. And oh, you're an Irish person? You're from Ireland? Oh, you mean Ukraine? Now, what do you, you the stupid American. That's what you'd hear. <laughs> it is stupid. It's, this is completely, completely moronic. The fact is that if someone is this stupid, by the way, they shouldn't be serving in office. If it were a Republican, the Republicans would be shitting their pants right now. And if it were a Democrat, but they were white, or certainly a white Republican, they'd be facing protests, riots even. Mostly peaceful ones, though. Keep that in mind. That's about all. Peace out.